Hello guys, welcome to today's class we'll be looking at another property of the binary operation. This property is known as the associative property and then it's also known as associativity. Now, in relating this property, we'll be considering our normal um, expansion of the brackets. We'll be using that as a, as a case study in understanding the concept of the associative, associative property. Rather, Now, if you look at the associative property, the associative property is given by an operation A operation B, then of which their overall um, value, after, after operating, when being, being operated with another value, we will then give something like this, we have A operation B operation C. So this is just like expansionary brackets where you actually displace the values, but then this is a, this is like a, a step into expansion, but then this is what the associative property talks about. The associative property talks about Theory is, is talking about combining three elements in this case now. We are combining more than two, but then we are combining two at a time. So that is why we combine these two. The, the value we get is what we now combine with the third one. So we, we take it two at a time. So in this property, we consider three elements, that is three objects or values. Where we deal with them based on their position and the odds and how they can relate and how they relate with each other. In the associative property, we need to understand that what, if you consider a case like, like the multiplication now, for multiplication, you know that the associative property is applicable for multiplication. You know that multiplication is an associative property. I can say that multiplication is associative. Why? Because I know that what, anytime I have, I can have a, a value, I have a value like A times B times C, it would still give me the same value as having it as a times b times c for a set of real numbers. So it knows that what I know that this will give me a b times c, which is a times b c, of which my final value will be a b c, and this will also be a b c. So because they are equal, I can see that what multiplication is associative. The same thing goes for for my addition. My addition operation is also associative. Addition is also associative. How do I know that? Because I realize that when I have a plus b, all plus c, it will, give me, it will still give me the same value as when I'm adding the last two and leaving the first one without the bracket. So it is basically just a, a, it's a, a, a rearrangement of position. That is, the position of the bracket changes from being the first, being in the first two positions to being in the last two. So this is still the same thing as a plus b plus c. And then the same thing goes for this. So since they are equal, then addition is also associative. For subtraction, that is subtraction, that is when you have both subtraction, that is in both positions. Subtraction in both positions, this is subtraction. Let me just say sub subtraction is not. Subtraction, meanwhile, is not associative. How can we deduce that? Because we know that when we have something like this, we say A minus B minus C. We say it is not associative with A minus B minus C. We know that was, even though it is just the position that is changing here, by expansion, we know we have A minus B, we have minus C here. And then we have A minus times B, we have minus B, minus times minus C, we have plus C. By comparison, we can realize that what, the, these two are not the same. And by that, we know that what, they are not associative. So we know that what, subtraction as an operation is not associative under a set R, under a set R of real numbers. So we'll be taking an example here. The example we have here, we are given a, a set of a set R containing real numbers, an operation, and then an operation P operation Q, which is defined as 2PQ plus Q plus P. And we're asked to determine if this association, if this operation rather is associated. Remember we have P operation Q giving us 2PQ plus Q plus P. Then to determine if the operation is associated, all we need to do is to what? Compare these two and know that what for P operation Q, I can say if I want to compare P and Q, all I need to do for associativity, I need to remember the rule of associativity. So you notice that what each of these properties have their own rules that they go by. For associativity, we need to remember that when you have a P operation Q operation, we'll be introducing a, a last a, a new value because in this case we're not given. So for associativity, we'll be introducing a new value R. It must be the same thing as what. P operation Q operation R. So that is what the concept of associativity 
explains to us. I mean, where what? Where all of P, Q, and R? Where P, Q, and R are all elements of set R. That is the set R of real numbers. So if that is the case, then I can now say what? Each of these should actually give me a value that will be giving me the same thing. So the first thing I can do to make to see about this, I can easily take up a what? A, a, a value. But because I know that what this is even an addition operation, I can see that everything here is giving me addition, so I can decide that what this will definitely be associated. But if I want to take a value, if I say let, if I say if I let my p be two, which is a which is a which is a real number, I let my q be three, and I let my r be five. To test, I will know that what I have for associativity. I know I need to express this. I'll say my two operation theory, all operation five, will give me this, the same value. As when I'm taking my two alone, operation three and five in bracket. So this is what the associativity explains that they should give us the same value, even though the position of the bracket has changed from being in the first two positions to being in the last two positions. That is in the, from the left hand side to the right hand side. Here I can using the, the, the formula we're given the operation. We know we have two pq plus q plus p. So in this case, two pq plus q plus p. We know. We have two PQ, our P here is two, our Q is three, plus Q plus P. Op all operation five equals to two, all operation. We have two PQ, our P here is three, our Q is five. So we have two times three times five plus Q plus P as plus five plus three. Breaking this down, we have two times two here, we have four, four times three, we have twelve. Twelve plus five, operation five equals to two, operation two times three, six, six times five, thirty. Thirty plus eight here, giving me seventeen, operation five equals to two, operation thirty eight. So you can see that we're having different values here. We can try to continue our operation to see if they are actually associative or not. So in this case, we know we are still in the formula 2PQ plus Q plus P. Of be knowing that what two pq plus q plus p. In this case, my p here is seventeen, so I have two times seventeen times five. My q here is five, and my p is seventeen. For the second side, I will have two times two times thirty-eight plus q, which is thirty-eight, and plus p, which is two, giving me a, a value of seventeen times five here will give me eighty-five. So eighty-five times two here will give me one seventy plus five plus seventeen, giving me twenty-two equals to four times thirty-eight, giving me one fifty-two plus fourteen. I will then have a final value of one ninety-two equals to one ninety-two. Now, upon my final answer, I realize that what I have the same values in the left-hand side and the right-hand side. This definitely tells me that what this operation is totally associative under the set R, and then. If you remember at the beginning of the question while solving, I already said it. That what this is already an associative. I already shown that this will be associative. Why? Because we, we already concluded in the last class that addition is always associative. That means when every, when all the operations you have in the expression is just addition, then you have a totally associative, um, property under the particular set R. So we realize that what the symbols we have here are both addition, addition. If they were to be under operation, uh, be another operation, probably addition and subtraction, then it, it could either be associative or not associative. But because we have two positive symbols here, two positive operations here, then it is sure that the operation is associative. So since, since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, you can say that what the operation, the operation is associative on that set R. So this is what we call it today. In the next class, we'll be looking at another example on associative property. Before we move to next property, in the next class we'll be looking at another example explaining the associative property further. And then before we now, con before we now consider the last property we'll be considering in this section, which is the distributive property, which will precede our elements where we'll talk about the identity elements and the inverse elements. So see you next class. Have a nice day.